Hey, it's Jazz and this is Wildlife Matters and today I am here with Sean from Newt. Today is actually a very special episode because this experience is one like no other. It's very important not just for people to see but also for wildlife in itself because we are going to be returning this wild animal back where it belongs. Right now here in Tuba Binget, we are going to release a Philippine pit viper far away from civilization, from mm -hmm. people so that uh, it could live and grow without being a threat to other people. Even though it didn't really come from this place, at least it gets to have a taste of what it's like to be in a natural environment that it deserves to be in. So, let's go, let's do it. Dito tayo ngayon, kasama natin si Jazz. Wildlife Matters. Yeah. So, ano, ano ginagawa natin dito, Jazz? Mag-release tayo ng flavor. Nakasal mo? Mag-release tayo ng flavor! <laughs> Bakit natin i-release? <laughs> Kasi hindi, ta hindi kami poacher. Yan, tama. <laughs> so ngayon, inaantay lang namin si Sean the Sheep. Tama. Uh, Doon siya umakit siya. Kitang-kita niyo naman. Isusong ko para sa inyo. Ayun yung ginagawa ni Sean. Yun yung ano. Head ng newt. Laman, wildlife matters. Yes. <laughs> This is the spot where we're going to be releasing the Pip Viper. Let's go. But I think today we are releasing one to a natural habitat where it can thrive and fulfill its important role in the balance of life. The Philippine pit viper is one of the country's venomous snakes that is endemic to the Philippines. It has hemotoxic venom, which means that it will target your red blood cells and damage your muscle tissues. But despite all that, it's one that deserves protecting and is more valuable to us alive than dead. It's important to remember that just because they're potentially dangerous, it doesn't mean that they're out to get you. Just like us humans, they want to survive and biting you is only a last resort. The first thing they want to do is flee. These animals are arboreal, which means that they like to spend their time above ground on branches or trees. And so I tried to get it as high as I could, but for some reason, yeah. on that day, it wanted to roam on the ground. The reason they are called pit vipers is because they have visible pit organs located between their eyes and nostrils. Now these organs help them detect warm bodies from up to one meter away. Similar to how infrared cameras work, they typically prey on rodents, frogs, and small lizards. So if there's one nearby, they rely on that pit organ to sense where that is so they can hunt it. Snakes are important because they help control pests from overpopulating, which in turn protects us from potential diseases. Here in Benguet, they are commonly found, but with agriculture and human settlement, they are declining in numbers. Just the irony of how, at the end of the day, humans are really the bigger threats. Oh, and by the way, the snake is just about to shed, so that explains why its skin looks a little unsaturated and its eyes look cloudy. But rest assured that we did our best not to stress the animal and handled it with precaution. There you go, we have just released a Philippine pit viper back into the wild. Thank you so much, Sean, Thank for, you very much for giving us also. this experience. Don't forget to check out Newt on their Facebook page. Uh, Facebook.com slash Newt.Philippine. Newt is a non-government organization comprised of volunteers who are working to promote our local wildlife through acts of education, like seminars, exhibits, and even wildlife rescuing. We'd like to give them a special thanks, not just for doing a great job in saving our wildlife, but also for collaborating with us on this video and making this all possible. Don't forget that every piece of wildlife matters. <laughs>